The next step is that we need to we need to modify our backend a little bit. So the first thing is that we need to change our endpoint from being slash, which is the default, to slash GraphQL. And that's because we want to be consistent to always use the GraphQL endpoint, uh, both locally in our Docker environment and then also up when we deploy on now. So we're going to make it the same for both our endpoint and our playground. We're going to now disable subscriptions because we're not using them and it's just, it's just better to, uh, to disable it. And then we also want to enable cores. And so this will ensure that only our Next.js server can make requests to our, uh, our backend GraphQL server. It's like before we kind of just let, let it open to the world, but we need to really kind of narrow this down and make it so that our not just any server can make these requests to our backend server. We want to make sure it's, it's the servers that we know about. The next change that we need to make is in our project.prisma, we need to use an environmental variable because when we, go, when we go and build this, we want to make sure that we can use the MySQL database. We want to connect to the, the right one. And so another change that we need to do is we need to specify the platform. And so this is what kind of binary we'll use. So native is what we can use in our Docker environment, but there's this other one that we need to use up in a, a Lambda function. And so you gotta make sure you use the 1.0.2. If this gives you trouble, try 1.0.1, uh, because it in the documentation it was showing that the, that the one is what you should be using for now, but for whatever reason that didn't, actually didn't work for me and it was giving me an error. So next, we have to go into our Docker file and we have to pass in the arguments that we had during our build step. And so first I have to define a variable, MySQL URL, and then I have to assign it to the environmental parameter that I'm passing in here. And so this means that I'll this MySQL URL will now be available when we do the uh, run Prisma2 generate step. And so that means our MySQL string will get set correctly.